had uh, discussed some uh, Python program and um, uh, today um, uh, and especially this program is a certain data type that you have to follow. Uh, it, it will follow a certain data pattern rather. Okay, that is actually known as the PL series. All right. So I am just opening the file for you and you see this program. Okay, and that I will um, also uh, brief you about this particular. Uh, program okay so the program name is pl.py okay that is the python uh, that is the python program okay that is the thing uh, and uh, this particular program is actually following a certain data set okay certain uh, certain things in this thing i'll just open you can read it out the pl series actually having 1 2 5 12 and uh, 1 2 5 12 uh, 1 2 5 12 29 70 then uh, 408 and 169 408 in that way it will be proceeding fine so now what is happening here this particular thing mm, a and 1 and 2 has been printed first only and then from 2 to 11 9 more numbers to be printed fine okay so in order to get a series okay so what is spell series it is a series where subsequent numbers are the sum of twice the previous number and the number previous to the previous number okay so that is actually the sum what is that is a series where a uh, subsequent numbers are the sum of twice the previous number and the number previous to the previous number i will show you a notepad explanation for this okay so you will have an idea okay let mm, let me open okay the explanation okay uh, just just a minute so i just open it for you okay uh, i've kept the explanation so then you will have an idea on the certain pattern okay how these things are being uh, this thing are being uh, done all right so it's in the documents Mm, let me go and then PL series. Uh, PL, PL series explanation. Fine. So you see out here how the things are generated. So this thing actually generating mm. in this way. The numbers are 1, 2, 5, 12, 29, 70, and on. So this one will be, I think, if you are doing, then it will come as 408. You see out here, first of all, this 1 and 2. This is actually the previous double of the previous number. So 2 is the previous number and the previous to the previous is 1. That's what the thing. So <coughs> If you are coming to the third number over here, so the previous number is 5 and the previous to the previous number is actually 2. Previous to the previous number is actually 2 over here. So in this way, this particular series has been uh, generating. Okay, so that is the, so what is the formula out here? C equals to, you see this dry run. First of all, we have taken A is 1, B is 2. Okay, so C equals to A plus 2 into B and A equals to B and B equals to C. These are the iterative steps has to be done. Okay, so the thing is that when 1 and 2 you are giving in this way, so 1 plus 2 into 2 is giving you 5. Okay, so that means A equals to what? Now 2. A equals to B means the value of B will be assigned into A and the value of C will be assigned into B. So this is actually the iterate, these are the iterative steps. So the next phase when he will go, then this A will become 2 and B will become 5. All right. So now what is happening after generating the number, then it will be reassigned. What? A equals to B. B means what? A equals to 5 and B equals to C. C means what? 12. So 5 and 12. In the next phase when it is coming back after checking then it is generating 29. So in this way the particular thing has been um, uh, taken off. Okay. So the numbers will be generated. So let us now once execute this program then you will have the you, you can understand. So this is the program actually for the PL series. Okay. So the thing is that when I am executing the module it will just print the 11 numbers over there. Okay. Because two numbers have already been printed and rest of the five numbers numbers will be printed um, uh, in a row okay so it is giving some problem actually out here so just i will do it for the second time so no problem otherwise okay so that is the thing so here you see the same iterative steps have been used out here okay what i have used in the notepad similar thing has been used c equals to a plus 2 into b that is the previous number to be doubled okay previous number to be doubled and then um, then previous to the previous number will be added. You see out here that is the same thing that we have uh, generated out here. So that is the thing. So and if you go to the notepad wise then also you will get the same thing out here. So the same explanation has been given for this particular thing. Alright. So you see out here 1, 2, 5, 12, 29 and so on. Alright. So that is the thing. So this is actually the PL series that has been generating. So where the PL number is what? The uh, twice the double and previous to the previous number to be added. So sum of the, uh, the double of the previous number and the previous to the previous number will get added in order to get the next term. That is the thing. So if you are talking about the 29, so 29 into 2 is 58, 58 plus 12 is 70. So the 70 will be generating out here. So this is actually called the uh, PL number series, PL series. Okay, so that can be generated in that way by reassigning by using the for loop. However, it is possible with the while loop also. You can do it with the while loop also that is there. Okay, that is the thing. 
all right i will copy it down into a, onto a new file and then this new file i will just uh, take it off okay um, uh, so i will just open another file and then i will use there the while loop construct fine so now you see the same documentation i have kept because sometimes this series could not be understandable how these things has been happening okay that's why okay so that is the thing so what i will do i will change it into while loop the rest of the things will remain all right so i am not changing that one okay so while uh, yes uh, then what to, what we have to write out here is actually uh, that will be based on because there is no range function so i have to take two uh, sorry i equals to 2 okay i equals to 2 i am taking and then i am taking out here while okay while i less than or equals to uh, less than or equals to sorry uh, less than or equals to 10 okay so then eight more numbers will be printing and then i'm putting here this colon sign all right so then rest of the columns i will just um, uh, put it out here okay so that is the thing and rest of the things will remain as it is okay and here what i need to do is i have to give one uh, increment over there because yeah uh, because when we had used the range function in the range function there is certain things are there there are certain things uh, uh, are not required why you know because the range function automatically if you don't give any step it will increase by one step the previous one will be upgraded into one automatically so that is not required much okay so but when you are using while that such thing won't happen because the range function is not present out here that's why it is not possible fine so now what exactly you need to do is i equals to i plus 1 when you are giving then actually you are just animating the loop fine animating the loop in the sense means that is a updation step it is going over there and checking whether the existing condition is true or false if the existing condition is true in that case what will happen the rest of the iteration the next iteration will be taken place but when the iteration will be uh, false oh, sorry when the condition when the check will be false okay when this checking will be false suppose i has become up to 10 we had told for okay then if it is up to 10 it will become to 11 fine so 11 is neither less than nor equals to 10 so it will not be executing so the condition is becoming false the loop will be out of iteration fine so that is the thing so that's why here if we don't give this one then what will happen i will uh, stand still at two only it will be a static two only it's not change anything okay so just we are just to actually implement the dynamism in the loop we are actually using the updation step so i'm giving one documentation out here of what is updation about so without updation a loop cannot be animated fine or it cannot proceed further okay so it will just stop over there it will become an infinite loop over there so that's why this particular thing has been provided out here okay so that is the thing so now what is happening in fact you know so this particular program has successfully done and now we will just execute it and to check whether the output is coming properly or not okay now now let let us let us check it out okay what is actually being happening out here so first of all we need to save it that is the that is actually the criteria in python whenever you are executing the program so i am just giving a name pl already is there then i am giving pl while all right so uh, that will be an indication sometimes when you give the file name you have to give it a proper file name so it will be easy to find out from a uh, heap of files okay into your system especially because you all are doing many programs okay if you are practicing you are doing many programs so it is very difficult to find out otherwise okay that's why uh, that's why you need to find it out if you are giving a proper name which is feasible to understand um, and um, that will uh, provide you instant reference for that particular file all right so that is the thing so you see the identical output has been generated which we had got for the for loop so the logic there is no difference here i had only changed the construct only there i had used the for loop here i am using the uh, while construct okay so if we are keeping the two programs side by side then what will happen you see um, just i will just open this one program for you you will see the difference so then you will have clear cut idea about the for and this this thing so how these things has been done okay so this is the program very short program you know and the compact in coding fine so this is the thing so this is the while loop program side by side i have kept both the programs as well and this program you can see easily okay and then um, the thing is that okay uh, and the thing is that uh, this particular thing uh, this particular thing actually um, uh, being done okay so um, uh, so uh, what is happening in fact or what is happening in fact this um, uh, so uh, this particular thing uh, when you are actually executing this uh, particular uh, programs and all so then what is happening uh, then you have you have you have got this clear cut idea about that loop construct about okay what is actually meant for okay so i'm going back to the program once again um, just a minute 
uh, here. All right.